In this video, we'll be covering the web service transformation in Centerprise. The web service transformation is a data set transformation, uh, which means that you cannot map around it. You must map uh, entirely through the transformation in order for the map record mapping to be valid. Uh, it is used primarily to retrieve data from a web service. So for every single record you'll read from the source, it'll make a call and retrieve data, and you'll be able to map uh, that data set, the resultant data set from that web service call to a subsequent uh, transformation or destination as I have in this case. Uh, you'll notice that the layout is consists of an input uh, with ports here on the left and the output with ports on the right. So of course the input is for mapping in and uh, typically what you'll have in the input are the parameters for the web service call. The output represents the return value being returned from the web service. Uh, key, it's also important to note that uh, this, is being, this call is being made for every single record in the source. So for example, if I preview my data here, you can see that I have three records uh, with you know, just a small amount of data, an order ID and some status. I'm going to map, I map that into the parameters for the uh, web service. Uh, but keep in mind that since I have three records, I'll be making this call three times. So if I preview the data here, you can see that this results in three, uh, I, three distinct return values from those three calls, and each of those calls has a data set inside of it. So from my original three records from my delimited source file, you can see where this ends up being uh, quite a few records on the destination. So to use this uh, web service transformation, I'll just start from scratch here and create a new data flow. Paste it on here. And I'm just going to remove the uh, web service transformation. Uh, go to the toolbox and under the transformation section, look for the web service transformation, not the web service lookup and drag and drop onto the diagram. Uh, this will give you a blank uh, act data flow action. You'll have to configure it. So the first thing you can do is right click and select properties or double click to bring open the uh, action editor dialog. So the very first thing you'll see here is that this is uh, the file path you're going to be needing for the WSDL file. This uh, component only works with SOAP web services so you'll have to provide the a web service definition uh, language file for that. You can either point to a, a URL on the internet for that file or you can browse to the file if you have it on the local network or something. So I'm going to, here's my WSDL file, I'm going to click open, OK. Uh, and then you'll have to pick the service call type. This is basically choosing the web service out of uh, the WSDL. The WSDL may have multiple web services, pick the one that uh, has the operation or the method you want uh, and then pick the method from that web service. In this case I have one called get orders. Uh, the option we have here, strict, uh, this is uh, in case there are many WSDLs out there that are not properly formed uh, but you can still use them it's, so if, if, uh, if you can still get the WSDL to work that's not a proper WSDL uh, you can uncheck the strict uh, option here and uh, you may be able to get it to work if you're if you're hit with the error that says uh, could not find the mapping for this type uh, and it's very technical uh, on a technicality basically but it still works so if you run into a whistle like that just uncheck the box uh, click OK once you're done uh, and this will give you the layout for the web service transformation uh, complete with the input parameters uh, under the input node and the return value under the output node. So then all that's left to do now is map from our source to the input of the uh, web service call. In this case, these are you're just basically setting the parameters for that call. And then map uh, the return value output to the uh, output to the subsequent tra transformations and destinations. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you use the web service uh, transformation component in Centerprise. Thank you.